it's not even closing all the way, is it? Which tells me that should have been, they should have tightened it up, but I don't think they knew how. And I'm looking, I'm looking at this hinge and it, it just seems to me, I don't like this one. I, I like the ones that you can, uh, where there's a little area for an Allen wrench that you put on there. You can put that Allen wrench on there, use that as a crank to pull the spring back a little bit, pull that out, then you lower it, then you put this one in the next hole to lessen the, the spring tension and all that. And I, I felt underneath, there's nothing underneath, and it's like, how on earth did they do that? There's a little, there's a little hole right there, and I'm not quite sure, I don't think that's, I don't think that's for anything. Maybe there was a different type of, uh, Tool to put in there and pull that back but I've never seen anything like that I'm not quite sure see I don't I, I don't think that does anything because that's part of the of the actual hinge that goes up against the door so the only way I can think of doing this and I might ultimately, later on down the road, go to the store and get some different ones. And I, I thought it was a four inch, and, and it is. But I'm gonna take a finish nail, and this is a six, whoops, this is a six penny finish nail. And I'm gonna cut off the tip of it, and I'm gonna put that in the hole and see what I can do about pushing on that. I thought of taking an eight. This is an eight, so an eight finish nail I think is the same size as this. It might be a little bit smaller, but this is an eight uh, sinker, and they, they call that a box nail, and, but it's not, it's not big enough or small enough to fit in that hole. Okay, so my first, thing here is I'm going to just take my cutter and cut off the cut this off here okay make sure I don't get that anywhere okay so now I just got that like that and I can put that in this hole. Okay, it still fits. I thought I was gonna have to shave off that edge and you know I might I might do that because I do have something in my nail bag for that. Remember? It's my little my little rasp. And I can take my file side, my thin side, and just kind of clean that off a little bit the burrs so it fits in there a little bit nicer like that now I can use that as a focal point but I might have I might have to uh, see there's another one there right there and there's holes like that all the way through but I don't know if that's enough to push against there to pull that pin out, to put it in the next one, to lessen this. And I should, I should actually put my gloves on. Because if that comes out, that could snap and, and really hurt. So yeah, I, 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 I carry gloves. I haven't used these for a while, but see I get them on my knuckles a little bit. But these are a little bit thinner than some other rubber gloves that you've seen at the store, but you can get this kind too. I, I, I wore these a lot, but these are old now, but okay. Yeah, let's see if I can, see when I push that. I guess, okay, I'm gonna have to just do it with one. See, I've already bent that nail a little bit. Okay, I have to be right there. 
So when I, when I, uh, dis, see, look at that. I already bent the tip of the nail. I think that gives me just enough room to loosen it so I can pull this pin out. And then I can put the pin in the next hole. Hey, like that. Put it over there. Like that. And now let go of that. Whew. Okay. That lessened the spring tension. Now I can put it on the next one. Jeez. Probably need a light or something. And now I can do it again. Pull it out. Put it in the next one. That off. Okay, like that. Now I can I can probably just pull that out. I can almost just pull it out. And there's hardly any spring tension on here at all. Okay. Let's just get it in this last hole. Let's try it again. Just to sh show you, okay? I got it in that one. Now it's so loose. See? I can just pull that out. Here's the pin. That pin comes with your self-closing door hinge right there. Now, let's say you have a self-closing door hinge and you don't have anything in there and you want to make it work. And hopefully yours has the Allen wrench up there. You do the same thing instead of tightening up that way. Can you imagine? That was so hard just to get that first one and it was still too loose. I would have, this would have had it been tighter had it had an Allen wrench deal up there. I could have cranked it a little bit more and got it in the next one, you know, to put this pin back in. But if you don't have any pins, you can use a, eight, a six penny finish nail. Just cut a little bit long. What I do is, is I would, well, you're not going to have this little pin, are you? So I would just put the nail in a six penny nail, figure out about, see how loose it is now? I feel about how far I could put a mark on it, hold it, and then I could, I could leave it out, let it come out just a little bit more. Instead of cutting the tip off, I would start with the head and, and then cut it. So I've got that little head sticking out. Okay, so I could have the finish nail cut it off like that. You know what I mean? See, right now, there's no spring tension on that last hinge. Now that hinge just acts like a regular hinge. I st granted, I still have the, I still have the uh, top one on, so it's still going to close a little bit. It didn't really close anymore before, but that's because my top one, I got to do the same thing with the top one. So that's what I'm going to do next. Get the Get that pin out of the top one, okay? So I've got one bottom self-closing hinge and the top self-closing hinge. See the little pin sticking out it, on it right there. So I'm gonna get up there now, take that one off. Okay, that's my top hinge. I've tried to zoom it in a little bit, but I'm gonna be up there. You're not gonna really see me too much, maybe a little bit. Got that same little finish nail. And see, that's where the pin is. So I, I've got to have my nail off to the next hole. So I've got that hole to put the pin in. If I just took this out, and I could do I could do that too. I could take two long nails, okay? Two eight, two six penny nails and I could use those so I don't have to use that little pin each time. 